Hello people, and welcome back to some more Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming our guest of honor, your Kragmite over Overlord and my new best friend, Emperor Tachyon! Alright, so it looks like we're going to be taking on the arena here in the Imperial Fight Festival. Now we have to deal with three rounds of enemies here, so this is the first round. Uh, let's get rid of the, this guy. Uh, these guys can like shoot blasts and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Now these guys with like blades and stuff can be pretty annoying if you try to fight them. Like, you know, at close range because they like me. They like twirl around and start slashing you and stuff. And these guys, like I said, they're electric type enemies, so like you really can't use your shock ravager or anything on them. Uh, I ran out of ammo, so let's get more. Still in the first round, right? Um, let's see. I might as well use our predator launcher here. Look at that guy. All right, so now we're on the second round. Yeah, predator launcher is actually really helpful to use against like uh, enemies, like a lot of enemies. <laughs> Let's get rid of those guys. These guys will pretty much just blow up and stuff, so be careful. Today's consolation prize is an all expense paid trip to beautiful Zor Doom Prison. And uh, yeah, since we're on the third round here, we're almost done. Sounds complete. Alright, so we're gonna be taking on the boss here, and it's crushed though. So, uh, I'm gonna throw in some plasma beasts here so I can take his health down a bit. There you go, use the bowling plasma beasts. Now, I'm going to use my Predator launcher here, hit this guy, and Crush Doe's not really that tough. Alright, okay, we're almost done. Alright, let's just keep on throwing a fusion grenade in. Hope for the best. Whoa, whoa. Alright, we're almost done. Let's get rid of this guy for good. There you go. And it looks like the pods. Congratulations! You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. Only shorter and less strapping. Quark, do you mind telling us what you're doing working for Tachyon? Yon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes, and dispatching my crouching kitten style with lethal precision. 
But alas, these rock-hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold out for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot rendered me unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kurwan, I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became his confidant. Which means you used your powers as a world-class suck-up to save your own hide. A uh, little column A, little column B. Here, take this. It'll explain everything. Uh, the optical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play, to play it on. Great! Quit messing around and get over here! I have boils that require lancing. <laughs> Coming, Your Excellence! Pray for me. Alright, so it looks like this is called the Rogar Tournament, or Rajar Tournament, or Rojar Tournament. I'm not sure how you say it, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to be doing deadlines of brutal, so we got to get rid of these uh, enemies in five rounds before the time runs out. Um, well, now that we're doing this, so I don't want to risk any cutscenes, I might as well talk about something. Uh, let's see here, My, in terms of like video consistency, like when I actually upload videos, it's gonna be a bit slower than usual because I'm going to be a little bit more busy than I was before because because of school and, uh, and I'll be doing some other things as well, but I don't really have to talk about that. Um, the point I'm trying to make is that I won't really have as much time to make videos before as I used to, so that's, so I'm going to try to upload whenever I can, but it's definitely not going to be as consistent because I'm going to be tired and stuff, so um, I just wanted to say that, but I'll still try to upload whenever I can, but I'm just going to be a little bit more busier than I, you know, was before, like right now, this is like my last week, really, just sit back and do whatever I want, because that's gonna change really soon, but that's alright, um, I'll still do what I can, but um, yeah, just to tell you that, so if I start uploading like a lot slower, then you know why, I'm just a little bit more busier, yeah, I just wanted to say that, and also, I got myself the Ratchet and Clank HD collection, and I have to say it's pretty cool. Um, I'm still playing the first Ratchet and Clank, you know, the original one, uh, right now. I'm not sure if I'm close to beating it yet, but yeah, I'm still playing it, and uh, it's all right. Like it's good, but so far I do like the future games better because, in you know, in this one, you don't really upgrade your weapons or anything you just keep on buying weapons and you go through stuff and there's a lot more cheap deaths and things and i like fighting a lot more and shooting things and upgrading weapons but in the first ratchet and clank there's not as much of that there's really like no upgrades or anything so that's why i'm like oh yeah and there's no armor and stuff that i've seen so it's just kind of like that but hopefully like i said i've only played the first one hopefully the second ratchet and clank has the stuff that i like uh, that's in the future games, like, you know, with armor, and version upgrades, and stuff like that. It should based on, like, the cover art, because it looks like, you know, Ratchet's in some armor, so he should have, like, version upgrades and all that stuff. But like I said, it's the first game, first in time, so obviously not everything's going to be perfect or, you know, the best that it can be for the first one. But it's still a good game, but I do, like... So far, Kraken's Time, in my opinion, is like the best Ratchet and Clank game that I've played at least. But I, but I actually, I'm really looking forward to uh, playing uh, the second Ratchet and Clank because a lot of people said that uh, the, the Rhino 2 is like you know, the best Rhino. Um, so I can't wait to use that and see what's going on. Um, I will definitely do a walkthrough on the Ratchet and Clank HD collection when I finish it. Same with the Jack and Daxter HD collection. Although Jack and Daxter, like I said, I'm still playing that as well. But the stuff I'm going through is like really difficult. Like the game, like the level right now is just fun time. So it's like a, but uh, yeah, when I finish the game, then I'll definitely do a walk. Uh, same thing for Ratchet and Clank. So, uh, 
Yeah, like I said, I'm really enjoying the Ratchet and Clank series. It's really good stuff. And uh, we completed the challenge. So, yeah. This whole tournament's really good to uh, collect bolts and everything. And uh, for this one, we can only use the Shock Ravager, so... Um... <laughs> Yeah, so make sure, so you're obviously going to need a Shock Ravager for this one, otherwise you won't be able to do it. So let's get rid of these guys. So far so good, just three rounds of enemies. There you go. Collecting as much gold as possible. And, uh... Challenge complete. <coughs> Alright. Smackdown at the Disco. Okay, so, uh... Alright, now, um, pretty much the Groovatrons and stuff are gonna be appearing so you can get rid of these guys a lot easier while they're dancing and stuff. Which is definitely something you're gonna have to take advantage of. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of these guys. Um, I think I can only use the Omni Wrench, otherwise, I think I should have used a bit of different weapons. Yeah, I can only use the Omni Wrench, it seems, which is. Uh, that definitely makes it more difficult, but whatever. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're, on, we're only on the second round, though, so that's not cool. You need to get rid of these guys. <coughs> um, oh, great. Alright, we're on the third round of enemies. There you go. Let's get rid of these guys. Get rid of these guys because they're really annoying once you get close up to them. Alright. Now we just have this guy to deal with. Alright, so now we're on the fourth round. Rid of these soldier guys or whoever they are, those, those robots with the with the swords and stuff, because they're really annoying to kill, especially at close combat. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm close to dying. Right, there you go, challenge complete. That was pretty close, gotta admit. <clears throat> Alright, Return of Crushto. Can you crush Crushto in under a minute? Let's see. I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, let's get the Plasma Beasts out. Throw them in here. There you go. Alright, now we're gonna throw in the Grubatron. Make him dance so that way we can pull off some more damage. Leech Bomb, heal up. And then... Use our shock rabbit over here. Now our magma combustor. Do some damage. <laughs> We're almost done. Yeah, and that's it. Challenge complete. Getting all these bolts. Yeah, this whole Roger tournament thingy is really good for bolts. So, uh... Defeat all the gladiators without taking any damage. Um... Yeah, so I guess the sword guys are called gladiators. Yeah, but they're really annoying, I have to say. Without taking damage, yeah, but... At least we can use our weapons, which is really cool. <laughs> Let's get rid of this guy, these guys, should I say, and uh, four rounds, yes, you can't take any damage, you get hit once, it's over, so, definitely, you definitely want to keep your distance, 
especially these guys because they will they will like you know get a hit off if you uh stay too close um, all right now we have the electric guys here the electric robots who can't be affected by a shock ravager so i'm throwing plasma beasts Now to get rid of that guy, let's throw our fusion grenade, and uh, we're almost done here, and uh, yeah, because we're on the fourth round, and definitely have to use the predator launcher for this one, so that we can just finish them off quickly. And uh, yeah, that's it, challenge complete, got all those bolts. Really nice way of collecting bolts, so you can buy a lot more weapons and armor and stuff, you know, things of that nature. Now, uh, yeah, it looks like we're done. This door can be opened using your newly acquired helipods. Simply fire a helipod at the loop target to try it out. Alright, um, time to use our new helipods. So you can open up that door. All right. So a return to the ship. Completing arena challenges is an effective way to win bolts and prizes. Returning gladiators are always welcome. Um, yeah, I turned around to see if there's anything there, but there isn't. So, yeah. So we're done with the Imperial Fight Festival, everyone. All right, let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Greetings, inferior beings of Polaris. Does your life lack a sense of purpose? Do you constantly worry about finding steady income? Do you like killing stuff? Then join the Imperial Army and aid me in my humble quest for galactic domination. Here you'll travel to new places, meet interesting people, and execute them in the name of... Me. How the foe did you just say I could meet interesting people? Why, yes, I did, celebrity hero Captain Quark. That sounds terrific. Tell me more. It's simple. Somewhere in this galaxy is the filthy Lombax secret responsible for the Kragmite defeat. As an official Tachyon trooper, your job will be to ravage every planet until it is found. Leave no stone unturned, no rebel spared. Exterminate anyone who stands in your way! All for a tidy salary and competitive benefits package. Wow, all that and travel too? Indeed. Take the Nundak asteroid ring, for example. Our spies have learned that the secret may be hidden here on this remote moon base. If you sign up by tonight, you can join in on the raid. Emperor Tachyon is an equal opportunity oppressor. Hmm. Do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon used to vaporize the Kragmites? Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. Stay tuned for more, people.